Okay, so this is a quick video showing the uh, thermal uh, design uh, uh, CAD fault in the Eagle file for RAMS 1.4. First thing I'm going to do is uh, do a float fill. This is the board straight off of the internet, so this is what's been what's going into production. All right. So let's switch off all the layers first of all none and just put on top and vias and there's your two fuses uh, there's the diode and there's the power connector there and the MOSFETs are up just above this is where the pads are for the fuses these are for the uh, power connector and that's for the uh, uh, that's for the um, the bed output and this is the MOSFET so uh, we're going to switch between layers 1 and 2 so you can see that there are actually two layers now we're also going to switch on the grid down to the finest setting and now we're going to measure across the uh, these things we're going to do the fuse one first of all okay. right so this track is 1089 mil sorry that's that's wide 874 to 888 so that's 888 888 minus 874 is 14 mil so 14 times 3 now on layer 2 it is 893 minus 869 893 minus 869 which is 24 so that's 20, 24 there and then this one is I'm using the measurement thing up in the top corner here so this one is 130 166, 166, 166 minus 130. So okay, so we have 14 times 3 plus 24 times 2 plus 36. And that comes to a hundred total of 126 mil. Now we go to the trace calculator which is on 7pcb.com slash trace width calculator and uh, we're going to put in a current of 5 amps uh, to 1 ounce thickness and we're assuming a temperature rise of 10 centigrade is acceptable ambient temperature 25 degrees I'm going to leave the trace width at 1 millimeter and the required trace width here in free air which is two layer thing you must not use the internal layer on the required uh, thing is 109 mil and we had 126 so uh, let's try 5.5 amps unfortunately this calculator you can't go the other way around so 5.5 amps is a required trace width of 124 mil so that's good enough so basically the current carrying capacity of fuse one here due to these these traces here these particularly thin thermals um, uh, is six amps now that's within tolerances so let's now do the um, the second fuse all right now in this particular case I note here there's only two tracks I'm going to flip between the two layers one two one two so uh, we have uh, two times 767 minus 718 767 minus 718 is 49 and this one here is 680 minus 657 Six, 680 minus 657 so uh, 23 plus 49 is 72 72 times 2 it's 144. Okay.
Okay, so we want to um, again go back to the cal cal uh, trace width calculator, um, reverse it. Uh, so six amps. Let's try that. That's 140. Six amps gives you 140. So 6.1, 6.1 amps. Only 6.1 amps when it's supposed to be rated at 11 plus. Let that sink in for a minute. So likewise, we have a couple of area, other areas uh, here. This one is probably uh, guessing from the amount that it's here. That one's probably 10, but it doesn't matter because this one, this, this is part of the circuit. That's your weak point. So basically it's not safe if you want a, a 10 amp, uh, uh, if you want um, to use a, um, a higher uh, print, uh, rating print, print bed, you can't. All right, six amps, six amps, 6.1 times 12 uh, volts. You can only safely get 73 watts of 12 volts through this. So um, basically all that needs to be done to fix this, right mouse button properties um, on the, uh, let me find the polygon, the polygon, uh, right mouse button properties for the thing thermals off. Okay, tools, rat, rat's nest, um, we need the other one as well, thermals on, on both layers, and there we go, alright you see that, so I've done both layers, uh, probably now I've done both layers, uh, let's do the other one as well, right mouse button properties, thermals off, there we go. All right, so it's really very, very simple to, to fix this. Just on every single one of these uh, polygons, uh, switch off thermals. Dunk, there we go. Right mouse button again, properties, thermals, off. And that's our thing. And now that's uh, properly um, rated for uh, the, the thing. Thermals are supposed to be for uh, protecting the um, thermals again, protecting the, the PCB and components for the heat comes down the pin into the copper and then spreads out and goes out throughout the whole thing, or the, in some cases the other way around. If you put thermals on, on power pins and power tracks, you end up with this situation here. All right. It's not safe because it doesn't carry enough current, particularly as in cases where you've got two components which are very close together. You can't get the flood fill around, so you haven't got the um, the things in that. All right, so very easy to fix, um, but you really must not use ramps 1.4 for more current than the, th the the PCB thermals can cope with. All right. Um, the, uh, the solution is to literally to wire put put wires across, um, soldered on the unsided side of the piece of B between there and there, there and there, there and there, there and there, there and wherever you know the thing basically there and there, there and there, 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 there I think every single one of those needs to be wired up with a high current um, uh, 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 trace. A high, high current um, uh, insulated piece of copper. Some of these, um, some of these ones, they're just um, uh, you know, I, I, I despair of it. There's one, or, one or two of these pins that don't have anything on at all. Um, uh, 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 thing. Look at this, this one. This one, for example, has just got the two things. And there's nothing on the other side. Oh, that one's that one's okay. But that thing, I've seen. A, I, I seem to remember. I recall seeing a couple that just don't have anything um, uh, connecting them. You know, and just on one on one layer and only two uh, thermal uh, th thermal tracks, I think. So yeah, just be careful, guys.